everyone and welcome to Mary Shortle channel. This week I have been looking at your requests and your messages and also your comments into what you would like us to showcase here in our wonderful flagship store in York. I've taken notice and thought I'd love to make a series of videos on your requests. This request has come in from a doll collector who has asked if I could showcase some of our more premier collection aiming at not only obviously the lovely young collectors but also the very serious adult collectors. I'm a great believer that dolls are for all ages and a doll at the end of the day is an emotive product it brings people a lot of pleasure and so much fun if if not just having it on your shelf i mean as a collector myself i'm not so much into the role play of the dressing and the changing and that sort of element of my collection i'm more into having them for display as ornamental purposes and also part of my interior design and my deco so it's more a lifestyle really that i i've created in the way that i collect my dolls and the way that i display them but i absolutely love every single one of them that i choose but i do appreciate that a lot of wonderful collectors out there great pleasure in having their babies or their dolls as real and going out and getting beautiful outfits for them and dressing them up for different occasions photographing them putting them into different situs and even having beautiful prams to display them in and i think that's also absolutely wonderful to do so today i'm going to showcase some of our premier collection dolls which we do sell a lot of also to the wonderful children collectors out there and like I say I think a doll is to be played with it's a way of teaching a younger child also how to nurture the role play in that baby doll and my little girl who is four does have some premier collection dolls and she treats them so well and so carefully I think it's really important in life that you live for today you enjoy every single minute we don't know what tomorrow will bring and there's nothing worse to think that they're all kept in cupboards or boxes or anything's too too precious that it can't be handled enjoyed and certainly played with in whichever way that you love to do first one i'm going to start with is a beautiful sculpt from laura lee eagles it's the miracle sculpt it was a sellout sculpt when it came out and it's absolutely adorable so it's a beautiful very true to life baby absolutely lovely look at her now this one has the hand painted hair and a lot of detail on the skin lots of veins and capillaries and detailing and also the hands can you see this light i'm here again on, at night on my own so the lighting is a little bit darker a lot of detail the manicures and the sculpt is very very young very natural and very very young so beautiful but these ones you know we do find that the collectors love these because they are true to life weight so this baby must be around seven pounds it's very very heavy and sometimes for a child like my little girl i had to take the weight out of her baby as it was just too too heavy and at the end of the day we you know it's better to take the weight out rather than risk them being sort of picked up by the arms and things this one is miracle and she is available on our website absolutely stunning for all the collectors out there that are very familiar with the reborn world and the sculpt you'll certainly recognize oops -a -dizzy, the sculpts that i'm going to talk about now here you know we have got a mass mass variety of all types of dolls all price ranges all weights we've got an amazing team of artists who love creating all the different types of dolls here so although we love to serve the young collector and the children and get them on the path of collecting we also have some of the beautiful collectors dolls here the collectors rebounds and also of course the magnificent silicone babies which I did the video on last week and the good news is we are receiving some more 
very very soon so there's so many collectors out there now who want to move on from this style of doll into the silicone world and really earn something obviously truly special too but these are beautiful so this one i don't think she'll last very long do you i think she's very very natural and very lovely the laurel Lee eagle sculpts are all beautiful they're all very young babies they're very popular and sell out of the addition of the kits very quickly we do max a lot with the rooted hair and this one is from our premier collection so you can see in the way and the style that it's painted very real very natural lots of detail glass eyes so using the glass eyes on the premier with the hand painted hair He's definitely a little boy, isn't he, with those ears? Aren't they cute? So this is Max by Linda Shearer, one of my very favourite artists, as you probably know if you've watched my previous videos. I absolutely love Linda Shearer's work. You never get tired of looking at her work. He's a real little... I don't know what he's doing, actually. He's a little bit quizzical looking, isn't he? He's having a, a think about what he's going to do next. This one is a 20 inch baby, newborn size, fits lovely into newborn clothes. He's wearing an adorable little Spanish outfit and his pom-pom hat and he's available on her website for £350 and that's the Premier Collection Max. So we have all different ranges like I was saying so the Premier Collection tend to start around 300 and our regular babies. Well the difference is although the sculpts can be the same we make them in exactly the same way we don't put as much detail in and as many layers of paint onto our regular collection, making it very affordable also as a starter reborn baby if you want to sort of get on the road to collecting reborn babies as a whole. And then as you go along, the more paint we put on, the more detail that then creates the price and also the body filling. So the body filling on the premiers tends to be the soft squidgy baby fat so feels like muscle which also gives it the real intense weight as well and the true to life weight. So really adorable. So this is by Alicia Turner and she is a really chunky monkey. She's about 22 inches tall. Look at her birth marks and all her detail she's real isn't she so the hair is all hand painted but at distance you wouldn't know that you wouldn't recognize you certainly got look at those lips the big kissable lips aren't they gorgeous and the sculpt and the detail of the hands it's just absolutely gorgeous this one would retail for 550 pounds and like i say she's quite a big baby so she'd probably fit the not to three months baby size clothing they all can take a magnetic dummy as well they have the magnet in the mouth which is a really nice little addition to um, dressing and styling like I say and just really just having pleasure and just enjoying them why not life's just too short to have them sat in a cupboard or packed away and so many people say oh I got the dolls they're so precious they're all packed away and I think why why have you got them packed away have them out have the pleasure of them you know one day you'll regret it so much that you're not enjoying them I think it's wonderful as a collector myself and when collectors have them out on display you know change them around enjoy them it's really wonderful I, I just you know think it's a lovely hobby you know at the end of the day some of you out there you know we don't collect classic cars not to show them at um, exhibitions or drive them you know it's, it's wonderful or even train sets you know anybody who collects something and has a really big hobby the fun and the pleasure is not only in the purchasing and the collecting but also enjoying and having fun from that hobby there's so many wonderful wonderful hobbies out there even if it's a sport or spectating or playing or taking part I think dolls are just the same and it's still you know an adventure sourcing them and finding them and the dolly community itself brings brings us all together like-minded people who love dolls for all different reasons it's really wonderful and obviously working in the business now since I was 18 
I have met hundreds and hundreds of amazing and wonderful collectors and are still meeting them today and new collectors who are just coming into this wonderful field that we live in and you know you've probably heard me say before that it's like we live in this bubble we filled our lives surrounded by beautiful creativity and magnificent world and meeting people of all the same interests and it's taken you know Mary and myself all over the world sourcing wonderful new dolls and creations for our stars and there is not one minute of my life that I have ever regretted with committing every single minute of every single day to this business through the passion of the doll that we both share and I just hope it will continue to be such a wonderful adventure that selling dolls and collecting dolls and making dolls has taken us on. It really has been the best life experience I think I could have ever have asked for or even chosen and at the end of the day I wouldn't have believed that I was going to be running a doll shop that has become immensely successful you know I went to be an auctioneer my dream from being a little girl I spent all my young life in Christie's and Sotheby's. I had my own paddle very very I think I was eight years of age in Christie's where I was um allowed to bid um, on my mother's behalf and view the dolls and to think where it's brought me today and the memories and the wonderful, wonderful things that I could have only have dreamed about handling and now owning some of those amazing creations in my collection. I can't thank my mother enough for this beautiful path and journey that she's brought us on. It really has been just the best um, life with dolls. It really has. So lucky that we can deal and handle and make a living from something that we absolutely adore. But you know, most of all, it's meeting you guys and the love that this hobby brings is just immense it's just fabulous i mean working from um the studio i've got a new studio now that's a lot lot bigger and also a new office that i've been working from in lockdown and honestly i've had the most wonderful wonderful messages and phone calls and wonderful chats with people getting to know them on a more one-to-one -one basis like it was years ago really with when it was very heavily a collector's world that we lived in and of course now with all the young ones coming up and wanting to have the wonderful dolls for their birthdays and they're planning Christmas and how they love coming to see us at the store and it's just it's just mind-blowing it really is every single day for me is still as exciting as the very first day I started it just gets better and better all the time and that is really just thanks to you out there who love us, support us, send us beautiful comments, we've got cards, we receive gifts and it really is just absolutely wonderful and I love making these videos and I love showcasing some more of our collections here and I hope you love learning about the dolls as much as I love sharing them with you. I just want to say Mwah! A massive thank you to all of you out there. Thank you so much for watching our videos, liking our Facebook page, which is getting so, so strong now with a wonderful, wonderful following and also our Instagram page with our stories and our grid, which we try to update daily just to keep you informed of all the new exciting products coming in. So a massive thank you and lots of hugs and kisses to you all. And we can't wait to see you in store when we back open soon.